Isn't that a cop out? If you give your life to Jesus, glory be to God, everything you do is going to be for the glory of God. Amen? Amen. Everything you do, you're going to do your best. Yeah, we must make mistakes. We slip. We trip up, don't we? But we immediately got to ask for forgiveness. Amen? Amen. Forgive me, Lord, for the way that I've messed my life up. I, I sure made a mess of my life. Please forgive me, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll try not to do it again. Have godly repentance. That you mean it. Amen? That you, you really mean it. Praise God. Because you, you, you're bowing before the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. He knows your heart. He knows your actions, doesn't He? He knows you better than you know yourself. Hallelujah. And, and He's here today. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Amen? Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the Word of God. And that's why it's so important to, to look at this Bible. It's the plain truth. Glory be to God. It's the plain truth. Do you, do you see how important it is that your name is in the Lamb Book of Life? In other words, in Jesus Christ's book. That's the Lamb, isn't it? Jesus Christ book. Hallelujah. Please don't put off salvation today. I mean, people come through here all the time. They come through all the time. They get a, a bed a couple nights and uh, uh, they say they want to be in the program and all of that. And then they're on their way. And then some leave here and they do what they want to do and they turn their back on God. What about them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the answers. This is the plain truth. Glory be to God. Romans 10, 8 says, The word of faith which we preach, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Amen. You will be saved. For with the heart one believeth. You've got to believe with your heart. Amen. Not with you, just your mouth. But you've got to believe with your heart. One belief unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the Scripture says, whosoever believes on Him will not be put to shame. Amen? For there is no distinction between the Jew and the Greek. Well, we know who the Jew is. It's God's chosen people. Amen? But who's the Greek? The Gentile. Glory be to God. That's us. Do we have any Hebrews in here? Well, we're adopted into the family of God, so I guess that makes us Hebrews, don't it? <laughs> For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon Him. For whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen? And you that are watching it, no matter where you're at, hey, if you're over in Afghanistan, if you're in Iran, or if you're in Iraq, and you want to serve my Jesus, hallelujah. He could be your Jesus today too. Because He is the Son of God. He died on the cross for you. He shed His precious blood. His blood became an atonement for your sins. Will you ask Christ into your heart and your life today? It's the most important decision you'll make in your life. I know what you're saying right now. But you say, I believe in Allah. Well, you better believe in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our Heavenly Father that's in the kingdom of God. You better believe in His Son, Jesus. And ask Jesus to come into your heart and your life. Pray with me right now. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent, Lord, of my sins. I ask for forgiveness, Lord, for every sin I've ever committed. Lord Jesus, I ask You to come into my heart and my life as my personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for writing my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Now, if you've done this, praise God. Jesus came into your heart. Glory be to God. Now, you need to begin to, to find a Christian church, and I emphasize a Christian church, and begin to study the Word of God, begin to pray, and begin to ask Jesus what you can do for Him. If you're watching this, you say, well, who are you? We're Circle of Love Ministry at 13519 North Main Street, Jacksonville, Florida. 
3-2-2-1-8. Telephone number 904-696-3105. That's 904-696-3105. If you'd like to send your tithes here, your offerings, we're a faith ministry, and we can certainly use it. Glory be to God. We have a discipleship ministry up to a year. We don't charge anything for the guys that we keep from the street. We carry anywhere from 30 to 32, 33 men all the time. If you would like to be part of this ministry, give us a call. Write us a letter. Until next time, God bless you.